All right, I'm back. <clears throat> so, told you I was going to come back and talk on a second subject while I'm up and feeling pretty good before I take this medicine. I want to talk on necessary. I was listening to uh, Fantasia, and she was talking about necessary. And it really touched me to my core. She, she sings this song. It was necessary. And I want to share with you today. It's necessary. Some of the things that you are going through in your life is necessary. So whatever it is, it is necessary that you go through it so that you can be stronger when you come through the fire. And one thing about it, as she said, Fantasia, it is true. I don't care what you go through. Don't give up on God. It's some things that God is going to allow to take place in your life and in my life. And you know why? Because it's necessary. It's necessary to build you. Those are building blocks happening to you in your life. There are some things that I went through in my life. And guess what? I see now it was necessary because I would have stopped way back then if I had allowed what was taking place in my life to stop me, to discourage me, to make me sit down, to make me throw in the towel. And I say it to you because I've been there and I know that there are people who are there right now that some things are going on in your life and you are wondering why me. But guess what? It's necessary. It's those bad relationships, necessary. That mental breakdown was necessary. Those health problems, necessary. Maybe losing everything that you had more than one time is necessary. That job that they thought that they took that away from you, that was necessary. Because you never would have went to college. You never would have went and got some more training. You never would have knew of the things that you rose up to do if you never had that stumbling block in the front of you. But that was necessary. Even in a bad relationship, it taught you that, no, 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 I don't want to go there no more. I don't want to be in an unhealthy relationship no more. See, that was necessary in your 20s so that when you hit your 30s, you say, no, that's not what I want. I'm going in a different direction. I'm doing something larger than I used to, used to do, than I thought I could do. I'm better today because of what I've been through. It was necessary because I didn't let go, no matter what I went through. And I can say this, not just because Fantasia said it. I can say this as a fact, that everything I went through was necessary. And you know what? It did for me when I was going through my trials and my tribulations. One thing about it, <laughs> I always cried out to God. I always asked God to hold my hand. I prayed out to him. I prayed and cried and prayed and cried. And I said, Lord, don't let me let go of your hand. Because I knew who was in the head of my life. And all of us can write a book because we all done been through something. I don't care how perfect people try to make their life look or like they never accepted this from nobody. They never went through that. They, I never did that and I don't know. And we got this bad with young people as if we have never been where they are now. But because it was necessary for us to go through, you know why? So that we can be a witness, a testimony. It's not saying that young people are going to accept everything you tell to them. Because they got to go through just like we did. But you know what? If you tell them your story, 
They'll never forget it. So when they begin to make decisions in life, don't you know they going to pull up what you put in them? You can't go get what you ain't never had. You can't, you can't live what you don't know about. You, 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 if you don't know about being poor, how you going to live like that? If you don't know about being rich, how you going to live like that? Because you can't rise above the environment in which you came out of. But see, it's some things that was necessary for you to go through. See, that's the sad thing about when people make it. They don't want to talk about that struggle and how they made it through. See, they don't want to talk about that. What they want to talk about is all the good stuff. What you see now. I had a young lady told me years ago. She said, oh, Miss Electra, I wish I had your life. I said, no, you don't. You want what you see right now. You don't want where I've been. You don't want the pain, the hurt, the rejection. All of that that I had to go through. The tears, the walking the floor at night. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about because you've been there. Not knowing which way you going to turn as a single mother. And then, you, you, on top of that, I lost my biological mom my last year of high school. And two weeks before I was getting ready to enter my last year of high school, my mom passed away. We was burying her. Two weeks before that was a struggle but the things she had put in my head are the things that stuck with me the things that my dad who I lost 10 years later that he put in all of us girls because I come from a large family 13 siblings 13 siblings I got 11 sisters and I got three brothers plus myself. Large family. Let me tell you something. Going through life is not easy because life will start lifing on you and you don't know which way to go. Stop making people feel like your life always been this bed of roses. You always had it together because the fact of the matter is some of us were so messed up. We didn't think we could even crawl out of that situation. Let's no one walk out. But see, God knew it was necessary. Whatever you going through what, right now, some of us are losing loved ones. To death. And it's hard. It's hard. But you know what? God heals in all of that too. All of it. Some of us got children who we've done our best with. Our very best with. Grandchildren we've done our best with. Our very best with. And it just seemed like they will get on the wrong road every time. That they're not listening to you, but they hear you. But people only hear you when you're not criticizing. Because everybody haven't grown to where they can accept corrective criticism. Everybody haven't grown to that. But just like things were necessary in your life. It's necessary in those who are coming up on the rough side of the mountain like we did. So that they can, 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 so that they can make it. How can I know about, how can I talk about what I don't know about? You can't talk about what you don't know about. You can't live what you don't know about. I didn't pick cotton, but
But my siblings, everybody older than me, they did. They were there when they had the uh, 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 different water fountains that you could drink out of. You know, we were separated doing segregation. Come on now. And through all of that fight, our ancestors, what did they do? They hung in there. Some lost their lives because it was necessary. In their minds, in their hearts, they felt like, like we feel like today. I might not be here to enjoy some of the things that my grandchildren are going to be able to, to, to enjoy. Some things that my children, you know, I'm quite sure that's the way my mama thought. My daddy thought. They used to always tell us that. And those of us that got some age on us, we know. They always said that. I fight like, I fight like, I fight today. So you can have a better tomorrow. You know why? Because they felt it was necessary. And it is necessary. And whatever you are going through in your life, I'm saying to you today, don't give up. Please don't give up. Hang in there. I'm talking on this social media right now. And somebody is hurting down deep on the inside of themselves and they want to give up. Don't give up. You, you can do it. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. That's what I was told by the elders. It's okay. You're a single parent, but there were single parents before you came along. And they made it. There were people with diseases before you came along with that disease. And they made it. And some of them still here. You can't give up on yourself. That's other people's job to give up on you. It's your job to keep fighting. Because everything you're doing is necessary. Not because I said it. But because God said it, and I want you to hang in there, okay? Hang in there. You are worth every bit of who you are. Don't you dare give up. And at the end of the day, you're going to see exactly what God was doing in your life. All right? Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.